How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. As you can see today, we have 87 rated, second in form, Paolo Dybala. As you know, in real life, I love this guy. On this game, I love the card. It's an amazing card. Will this card be better than his inform? Be better than his normal? That's what we're going to find out. And if you do enjoy, lads, smash a like on the video. Let's aim for over 1,000 likes. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to g2a.com. Use that code M89. Every single link I will need is right there in the description below. And the team around Dybala was one for the daily knockout tournament. We played a couple of games in that, a couple of games in D1, and yeah, we kind of compare the two and he was equally as good in division one as he was in the daily knockout tournament so the team is Buffon, Florenzi, Manolas, Chiellini, Kazawa, Hatsen Ben, Bloody Arthur, we have Verratti, Nangol, Quadrado, Hesse, and Paolo Dybala. Let's get in the review. So here we go then, lads, and as you know right about now, Dybala is very, very expensive. Easily over 1 million coins for this card, an 87 rated. Just imagine how expensive his team of the season will be. His price range is 105 to 2 million on both the Xbox and the PlayStation. He's hoping around the 1.2 mark at this moment in time on Xbox, a little bit more on the PlayStation. He scored 11 in five games, a very good record. Four star skills, three star weak foot, medium to medium work rates. He is quite diminutive at five foot nine, but he does win his fair share of hitters with jumping of 81. His strength is 70, but as you can see on the right hand side of your screen, with finisher, his physical goes up by seven to 79. And his shooting goes up by seven as well to 90 bloody seven. Look at his skill attributes, 94 ball control, 95 curve, 93 dribbling, 93 finishing, 93 kicks, 90 long shots, and 83 shot power. And in terms of specialities and trades, he's got dribbler, acrobat, clinical finisher, finesse shot, flare, etc, etc. And his strikes is a laser beam of a strike. Honestly, it's so damn pure, so damn good, so damn accurate. Honestly, every single time you pull a trigger with Paolo Dybala, it is bulleting towards the back of the net. That one was a prime example, doing a couple of Berber turns, and then hammers it home. What a bloody strike that is. That was in Division 1. This is in the Daily Knockout Tournament. He goes through one-on-one. -on -one. Basically, you, you can't catch him in this situation. Another Berber turn from him with the four-star skills. It comes in very, very handy. So in kind of tight situations, you want to kind of spin out of it. Just do a Berber turn, Magidi spin, whatever you want to call it. And Dybala will come out of it with pinpoint accuracy. So on his pros, finishing 11-5. It's nothing to sniff at. And when you can do stuff like you've just seen there in the background, my good God, have you got a striker on your hands? A flareful striker, a finishing striker, a striker who's going to score goal after goal after goal. And he can use this kind of flareful side to it as well. That one flicking over the defender with the right stick and volleying it home into the bottom corner of the net. Shot power. I know it said 83, but honestly, in game, with that left foot, he hammers it. Every single time, you see it just there. He hammered it towards that top corner. No disregard for human safety. Honestly, it's a great strike from Paolo Dybala. And as you see on the replay, the keeper rooted to the spot. And what you will kind of take away from this card is that he can finish in a multitude of different ways. If you want to finesse it, finesse it. His curve is in the 90s, and that's what I did on a few one-on-ones normally. I go for the low driven shots, the double tap of B, but with Dybala, I went for the finesse, and it was working because his curve, his accuracy, his finishing is all very, very good. Inside the area is deadly, outside the area is like a sniper. Honestly, it's ridiculous. So long shots is definitely a pro for me. His speed, acceleration, sprint speed, they go hand in hand. If his acceleration is good, he gets the top speed faster. It's amazing, honestly. You can definitely feel the effect from his normal card to this card. It just seems so much more faster on and off the ball because his agility is very high. And I keep harping on about this, how agility makes it seem faster on the ball. It goes hand in hand with balance. Honestly, Dybala is so damn evasive, it is ridiculous, and it's great for the card. It really, really is, because his dribbling is 
very good. He's got four star skills. He's got a little bit of strength about him now, especially with a finisher chemistry style. It boosts that strength up so he can kind of hold his own against the kind of weaker center backs. But if a stronger, taller center back comes along, he will lose the ball. Unfortunately, the only con with this card was that three star weak foot, meaning you got to take most of the strikes with his left foot. All in all though guys, this card is broken, so he's going to get a rate of a 9.6 and a value for coins of a 7.0. Lads, hope you have enjoyed this review and if you have, smash the hell out with that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time. <laughs>